What's good, Capricorn? This is Soul. And Capricorn, we're going to look at some energies for you uh, starting in the month of December. We're going to focus on love and relationships for you. Um, Capricorn suns, moons, risings, Venuses, singles, couples, Capricorns who are into same-sex loving energy. So in order to do that, you know, I'm using my um, famous go-to tarot deck, the Victorian uh, Romantic Tarot deck. All cards are in the upright positions. Two lovers, two devils, two, two emperors. So if you receive two or both, then, you know, it's double the energy. Also, just to complement the readings, I'm going to be throwing some cards from the Lips Don't Lie uh, Oracle and also a couple cards from the Status um, Oracle deck too, to complement these readings. So without further ado, I do want to wish the Capricorns first and foremost um, a very Merry Christmas for those who celebrate and also for the uh, Capricorns who have uh, birthdays in the month of December as well. I want to wish you a very happy birthday celebration. Okay, let's begin the messages to see what's going on here for my fellow Cappies. Sagittarius, I just did their video, so I don't know if you guys are cross watchers or whatever. Um, they had six major arcana, so okay, <laughs> six. <clears throat> All right, so three good cuts here, Capricorn. We're going to begin the messages for you. It is very cold out today. They issued a cold blue in my area. I'm like, damn, this happened like overnight. Last weekend we were in, damn near in the 70s. Now it's like below freezing. All right, so we're going to start with the first card for you, uh, Capricorn, and we're going to begin with the uh, Page of Cups. Okay, so you got a um, good cup here. This is two individuals on this card, so it could be new relationships taking uh, place in the... Um, month of December, but also too with that page though, you could already be a Capricorn who may have just started a new relationship, okay? You may have just started and it feels new to you. Could still feel uh, new to those who have already been in well-established relationships, okay? But we have that page of cups that's also pregnancy news and, you know, this is still, you know, uh, love and relationships, so I'm not trying to incorporate any other areas or aspects of your life. Uh, Capricorn, but this, this, you know, still could be childbirth here. All right, so Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents that page of cups. Then we follow off with the Ten of Cups, weddings, okay, celebrations, of course, the Christmas, holidays, getting together with family members and friends. Wow, Page of Pentacles, you got your own energy representing. <laughs> Mirrors the Page of Cups. Somebody new's coming in here for somebody. Another court card. This one here mirrors the Ten of Cups. Somebody's getting married, possibly to a fire sign in the month of December. King is always uh, focused on something or someone. It is a card of attraction. Very passionate, very, um, you know, intense sexual energy, sexual expression. All kings and queens, no matter what element shows up, it represents all relationships, ages, and genders. Okay, so we got some good energy going on here. Now we got the Knight of Cups, Capricorn. Wow, look at that shit. You got some good energy. Knight of Cups is the uh, knight that's in the shining armor, full of love, have a lot of love to express and give. Now, of course, the roles could be changed here. This could be a female knight. And then all males, you know, surrounding her. So, you know, there's love out there to be had if you are single. But also, too, it could be just the expression of the emotional level of how you are in terms of an existing relationship. It mirrors the Page of Cups. Remember, I just said with the Page of Cups, you could already be that Capricorn who may have just started a relationship or still could be the Capricorn who is already involved in a relationship. But it still feels new to you. OK, maybe the. Um, uh, what's the word they use? Honeymoon phase or something like that is still going on for some of you? I don't know. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents the Knight of Cups. Following that, we have the Tower. Do not despair because when I <laughs> get the Tower here, I always talk about, you know, because we're talking about love and, um, you know, relationships. We're all adults here. That King, sexual energy, sexual um, expression. Uh, this is a card of high uh, attraction. So you're either attracting someone towards you or someone is being drawn towards you, okay, in terms of attraction. But when it comes to that bedroom in the month of December, some of you may experience some great 
great sexual satisfaction. That's the tower's energy, okay? So you can take that with a grain of salt or whatever, but, you know, if it's not the benefit of having to have great sex in the month of uh, December, then, you know, you might find yourself, you know, getting to some sort of arguments, uh, you know, fights or anything like that. But we'll have to wait and see. I don't feel this uh, has anything to do with fights or arguments. I feel that it has to do with all of the sexual energy uh, build up here. Okay, so the tower is here for you, uh, Capricorn. Let's go. Then you have the lovers to bring down the energy of that tower. So look at that. Underneath the Ten of Cups. Somebody's getting married. I strongly feel somebody's getting married here. And we already know what the uh, lovers is all about, right? So you have drawn the first lover in this deck, and it's about unity, coming together, seeing eye to eye with one another. Of course, it represents new partnerships, um, you know, just being on the same page. That's the entire month of December. So, you know, we got the holidays. The holidays can be stressful for a lot of people. And, um, you know, it could it just could make people feel some type of way. Oftentimes it, it does because you have to get together in terms of planning with family and, you know, whether you're traveling there or whether you're hosting. Um, I think hosting is the worst. When you host for any holiday, especially something as major as Christmas, it, 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 people are up there with a, a lot of a uh, great deal of stress. Okay, so the lovers here represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's continue. Then we got the King of Swords. So King of Swords is about taking action, making major moves, speaking your truth, gaining clarity. Uh, the red rope here, I always get fire sign energy, so there could be exchanges again with Capricorns who are dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You're just sitting there waiting to strike. Now, when I say waiting to strike with that sword, you already... Uh, formulated all the information that you need. You're just waiting to make your move. Now, when I say making your move, it doesn't necessarily have to be anything negative, Capricorn, okay? It could be something that is very, very positive, and you're just waiting. But usually the king and the queen of swords is always about taking major moves, making major moves and, and making major, um, you know, decisions and actions. So you have one, two, three, Three, four. You got four court cards here, okay? So there's a lot of people and a lot of exchanges of energy um, between you. That could be a possibility. It could be also the energy that opens up for, um, you know, the single Capricorns who are looking to connect with someone new. The options are definitely here. All right, so King of Swords represents air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Then we have the sun, <laughs> okay? The sun shines and smiles on Capricorn. Wow. And you already know this is the yes answer to all questions, but then, you know, this is a relationship card. So feeling happy, feeling exuberant, feeling vibrant, feeling childlike, just feeling successful. Underneath the King of Wands, that's the success in a relationship. You may be the Capricorn that, you know, still... Uh, lives in Florida, California. You may be traveling to those areas this this month, in the month of December, okay? If you are, say passage to, say passage from. But it's about you having a grand time, feeling happy, feeling happy, feeling content um, um, because of the, you know, relationship that you may currently be in or the relationship that you have the potential to enter into, I'm going to swing back up here and talk about that page of uh, Pentacles when I draw this last card. Because that's about the only really card that I haven't spoke about. Um, and then you finish off with the star card. Damn. Okay. So, you know, the star card here is about uh, social networking. It cross mirrors over here to the page of cups. So that's the new relationships. Hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming, uh, you know, manifested. Uh, so, yeah. Wow. Okay. So you got the star card following the sun. Look at this spread here. I haven't even done the shadow yet. So the star card here represents Aquarius. And it may be because Capricorn that I just said in Sagittarius is a video that, you know, when your birthday comes around, the sun usually shows back up on the day that you were born. This might be the prelude to all of that energy here that you may be experienced, um, potentially experiencing in the month of December. So if you're, you know, online, uh, could be online dating, uh, building up alliances, social media, it's uh, kind of heavy here. So, you know, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you can, there's ways, those are ways that you can meet people uh, if you are single and looking. 
Oh my God. So you have the star card. Um, just don't, you know, just make sure that you're staying focused on one or two things in the month of uh, December, whether you're in a relationship, Capricorn or not, because you don't want to feel like the stars that are scattered in the universe. Okay. Always pick up that energy with the star. Too many uh, stars in the uh, universe are scattered. So just stay focused. And you got the king here, you know, because they stay focused on one or two things. Uh, so, yeah, you do the same thing. Focus on that relationship. If you are in a relationship, then focus on uh, getting yourself involved in a relationship if that's what you want uh, moving forward. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles is that court card that comes through uh, that represents you, Capricorn. These people are usually young, uh, male or female, but they are very mature for their age. They may have accumulated some sort of wealth, um, good money handlers. They could be bankers. They could be financers, money management. Uh, they could work in the uh, stock market, um, could be just investors, but they're willing to share, you know, whatever energies that they have accumulated uh, with someone. All right. And this person here is looking to connect. Now, this could be you because this page of pentacles represents you capricorn and you have all of those things that i just talked about and you're ready to offer it to somebody else or this person is coming along okay this person is coming along i even feel like there could be some sort of work attraction or work involvement workplace involvement but we'll see okay so that here uh page of uh, pentacles represents you capricorn taurus and virgo in your shadow, we have the Four of Pentacles, uh, holding on tight to something. Um, Queen of Wands, okay, passionate, just like that King of Wands. And then the Ten of Wands, Busy Bee. So you'll find yourself very busy, and no doubt with all this energy here, you're going to be very busy in the month of um, December, doing things for you know yourself, your family, your relationships. Um, could be having anything to do with uh, you know weddings. Some form of celebration here. We got the Ten of Cups here. Okay. Two tens and that reading is auspicious. So this is a beautiful month of energy for you guys. Ten of Wands here represents fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Already spoke about the Four of Pentacles, which is your energy. So normally when I do a love relationship here, um, Capricorn is always about um, security things. You know, holding on tight, feeling insecure. Uh, someone could be, you know, withholding love and affection towards you, or you might be possibly doing that to somebody else. Then we have the king, uh, queen of wands. It's just like the king of wands, always focused on something or someone very, uh, high intensity, uh, very passionate, definitely sexual energy, sexual expression. So again, like the king, you're attracting someone towards you. Someone is being drawn towards you. All right. I hope that made sense, right? This is an attraction card. You're being attracted to somebody. Somebody's being attracted to you. All right. So the Queen of Wands represents fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. That is your shadow energy. Let's get into the lips don't lie um, messages just to see. And like I said in uh, Sagittarius video, you know, I don't, I'm going to leave this open, you know, because these messages uh, could be for, you know, um, you Capricorn in terms of your feelings for the person that you may have an interest in and the same may apply to um, their feelings towards you. I'm just leaving it open, okay? I don't want to just specifically say uh, this is what your person is thinking or feeling because sometimes, you know, the, the messages that come through don't always fit the question. So <laughs> I like to leave it open. Just, you know, always take the messages with a grain of salt anyway. First message for you, uh, Capricorn, is um, stalker. Oh, someone has been secretly keeping tabs on you. They have a secret crush and are eager in finding out more and more about you. Their curiosity for you is increasing. They're spying on you. Wow. Hmm. That's interesting. Next one up is our counterparts. This one says this connection is spiritually based. The foundation of this connection serves your highest good. If both parties are willing participants, this will be a profound yin yang experience. I actually like that one too. Uh, mirroring, this one says you and your person are matching each other's behavior and actions. What they feel, you feel, what triggers them also triggers you. How you react, they react the same way. You are starting at a carbon copy, or I'm sorry, you are staring at a carbon copy of yourself. 
those are your messages from the um, lips don't lie and just throw in the uh, shadow here for fun your person thought they could survive by being only friends with you they are now understanding the error of their ways and are starting to develop strong romantic feelings for you Sagittarius, I think, had this in their shadow, too. All right, so that's what I have for uh, you with the lips don't lie. Let's toss a couple cards here from the Status Oracle deck for you, Capricorn. See what they want to add here to this uh, glorious, massive energy that you have received for the month. Look at that. You've got the star card, the sun. Oh, my gosh. Ten of Cups, Lovers, Page of Cups. Even though that tower I'm regarding is uh, getting busy month, that's... The getting busy uh, mom, okay, with uh, ooh, all kinds of crazy shit, exciting, fun, crazy stuff, right? Let's hope so. Keep the fingers crossed. All right, so walk away. This one here says, you know what you want. You won't get it here. Okay. Next one is uh, infatuation, attracted to all the things you do. And I'm just going to do two cards and then read the uh, shadow here for you. This one here says, cutthroat. It is what it is. It's not what it's not. So these are just messages that are coming through here. Uh, please use these messages however it seems um, fit for you, okay? It's just me interpreting the cards. Um, but yes, this seems like it's going to be um, beautiful energy for uh, some of my Capricorns out there in the month of uh, December. I hope so, fingers crossed. So give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Um, Enjoy Christmas if you should, uh, if you, uh, yeah, celebrate Christmas and then happy birthday once again. Just be safe, okay? Keep smiling for me and I will talk to you soon. Bye.